Hey you guys, it's Ati. Today is an extra special vlog. I'm so excited to be here with Tammy of Chow Bella Tutus. She's gonna be teaching us how tutus are made and I am in heaven. Do I follow you? Do I stand on tutu? What do I, I do? Oh, hi! Finally. Oh, hi. You are so cute. Tutus, well, hello. tiaras, dogs. What more could a girl ask for? Hi, I'm Tammy DiMattia, and I'm the owner of Chow Bella Tutus and also the founder, uh, co founder, I should say, of Tutu Education. It's an online uh, service for learning how to make tutus, just how they're constructed. This is my studio. I started about 15 years ago and I have two daughters who danced and um, I, rather than refurbishing costumes for them that didn't fit right, I decided it's probably easier to start, you know, from scratch, from the beginning. So I took a couple of courses and found an excellent pattern maker and um, I've just kind of everything's taken off from there. Okay guys, so Tammy's gonna start us off with a tour of her workspace. First place we're gonna start is the, the net and tool because it's basically kind of where everything <laughs> begins with a tutu. It's fabric, yes. Uh, yes, we have a diamond net here down below and there's lots of colors and stuff to choose from. Uh, and then above we have the, the tool and the tool is more for the romantics, the longer length. Yes, um, long ones. Skirts. And, uh, and then, of course, the, the diamond net is for the shorter pancake style tutus or bell tutus. And, uh, and we can even mix, you know, tool in oh. with the net to kind of make it fun, yeah. especially for the bells. I love that. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And from there, we are going to go over. We have our buckets and, or, well, more net up top. Um, <laughs> more net. Rolls of cotill, and cotill is a fabric that we use to line the uh, the tutus. It's uh, a herringbone weave and it's kind of the industry standard on that. It's pretty um, rigid, huh? Yeah, it is. It is. It needs to be strong because for partnering you want to make sure that that uh, costume is, is snug up against your yes. body. You don't want any kind of um, you know, stretching. You don't want to, if you're being lifted and you don't want to feel like your tutus <laughs> you know sliding around and mm -hmm. and when <laughs> and and also uh, when the guy's partnering the girl and he's turning her there's so many places that he could get his fingers stuck you don't want a baggy oh costume yeah. and break his fingers so don't break your partner's fingers no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we have like um, our lycra which is what we use for the stretch bodice style tutus and or uh, leotards or you know young kids uh, will do like a, a leotard with you know the net attached kind yeah. of like a catalog too yes too. okay yes. that makes sense yeah. a little more stretchy a little more comfortable right right and then we have our brocades and silks that are you know kind of in there and that's what we use for the fashion fabric so um you know we have our lining and then we have our fashion fabric and usually we like a nice nice weave for the fashion fabric. Cute! Uh, and then we have our trims and everything that are kind of back up in, in the corner there. Um, you know, we, we buy gold and black and silver and all sorts of, you know, different colors. Oh, I love that. You can buy those online or you go up to LA and you go to, you know, the garment district up there mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, and you, you, when you see it, you buy it. And then you have a couple mannequins out mannequins, here. Mannequins, which is really important. Literal mannequin. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm so excited to learn. Let's Very do it. Good. Okay, yeah. let's break down a tutu. Let's break it down. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of break down what the different parts of a tutu are. And they all consist of a bodice. They all consist so then on the inside of a basque. Basque. Woo! Flip it over. <laughs> Bath, <laughs> panty, and your net ruffles. Net so this ruffles. is just a basic, uh, you know, um, kind of look of one. We have uh, usually the uh, classic or pancakes have a hoop. Oh yes, they go um, a hoop skirt. Right. If you're partnering, you might, you know, partner. They don't really like to have a hoop in it, so they'll leave it unhooped, hmm. which is it's fine. <laughs> unhooped, it's easier. Unhinged. It, it's <laughs> you know, they when they go to do a fish, they don't want that hoop. Like, you know, whoosh, right, kind of absolutely, right in there, and so, anyways. Oh my so, gosh, this is uh, stunning. What you have to, you know, look at are sleeve options and stuff. This just kind of has a, a built-on little mesh sleeve. Wow. Uh, and so, anyway, uh, 
that's that's basically all it there. Um, right now, if we're looking at it in pieces, here's our basque. This is going to be the part that's going to go right around here. Now, what the basque is for is to hold the, hold the weight. <laughs> yes. It, this is going to hold the weight of, of that skirt with all of those decorations and everything on it. So Love this it. attaches right to the to the panty. To the panty. And um, since this is going to be an exposed basque, I have the fashion fabric there. You would mm. use this style. If you could put that up to yourself, this style bodice. Oh my so this God, is basically so a two piece there and so that's how that goes so you have the long line that i just showed you that it goes from you know all the way down mm -hmm. to the hip line and then you have your shorter two-piece wow so. that's pretty cool yeah and and they are they're tight they're snug i mean some <laughs> yeah. some girls oh will, my gosh they like it they the the professional it, does, it gives you it. a lift right right exactly it's understandable. okay so we flipped this bodice over and this is the short with the the front point here and I pulled out one of the bones, and you can see this is what oh. really helps hold that tutu up against your body. What's nice about these bones is you can bend them side to side. So when you're bending side to side... Oh, know, this way. There Hello. you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you for having patience. With my me. pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure. Okay, this is really cool. So they're, they're pretty flexible they're for how really, sturdy they are too. Now there are some bones that are rigid plastic okay and uh if i use one of those i'm only going to put it in the center front because that mm -hmm. stays pretty straight but right. those side um bones Needs you want ability. you want flexibility there so cool. and then i mean and some dancers might want boning in every seam sometimes mm -hmm. they'll have it even between the seams they want you to bone the the bodice for them uh, mm -hmm. a girl who um, maybe it's just a little larger in the bust. She's going to need that boning just to kind of help keep everything. Sure, it healthy. just gives it structure. Mm -hmm. So yes. cool. Yes. Okay. For your straps, a little nude um, inset here just yes. to for modesty. They call it a modesty panel. Mm-hmm. And Don't we all need a modesty <laughs> panel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have our nice, you know, big like hooks that we have on those and we like to this is not a partnering um, bodice you can tell because first off the hooks are on this side and then they're so far apart the guy could get his fingers stuck in there so if we were doing it as a oh. uh, uh, partnered bodice then we'd have them like every inch part yeah that is wow that's a detail that would have just went whoosh, right over my head yeah and then sometimes <laughs> uh, i have some uh, russian artistic directors that they actually want the bars on this side and then the hooks on this side mm. so when they're turning it's kind of um you know they're not turning into this they're actually turning you know their hands are going away from it that is so interesting that interesting yeah that makes total sense though yep yeah, it does. Uh, cool. So anyway, we showed you the basque, we showed you the panty. Now I cut this out already, and um, <laughs> you can you can see that I, I have my lines and everything on there, but you yeah. have to, you know, when you're making it, you, this is on the, on the fold here, and so you're gonna, you'd cut two, but then I need to mark each and every one of these as a guideline for myself. And so that's, all of these lines mm -hmm. go onto that piece of paper? Well, that's what I've, I traced it from. You know, I kind of traced off. Oh. And some of them, it, so I didn't like where they were reference. at. Exactly. Cool. So then when I'm sitting at the machine and I'm sewing my, um, my ruffles on, I can stay on that line. Because oh. it gets really, you know, dense right here. Yeah, those are very and close together. Yeah, yeah, very, very close. Um, wow. And, you know, I don't, I don't like the the big panties that kind of look baggy. <laughs> Don't like big panties. No, no nobody likes granny panties. <laughs> and uh, nobody likes butt ruffles. <laughs> so anyway, so this is just, it's cut oh. high up over the hip flexor. Okay. So you yeah, don't- Yeah, just give you know, it a sleeker line. Yeah, it doesn't give, okay. you don't want to have a wedgie. And uh, so you need to make sure that you're coming down across the glute in the right spot and that it's high up over the hip flexor here. Awesome. Okay. All right, you guys, so I have some measurement sheets that Tammy provided for us. Did you want to kind of explain what these are? I do. Okay. It's really hard to get good measurements on guys. Uh, mm -hmm. If you go to tutueducation.com, uh, you can see a free video on how to measure uh, one of the girls. And if you subscribe, we have a video on how to measure the guys. Uh, because did you know, guys, when they, if they're cold and they haven't worked out, if you take those measurements, they go take class. 
their muscles will pump up and they'll actually <laughs> fill up to like three inches of difference in their chest and in their biceps. Oh my gosh, so then all the measurements are wrong. Oh, they're wrong, right. So you make them, nice. you know, if you get a cold, I always say, was this a cold measure or a hot measure? Um, if it was a cold <laughs> measure and I make I a tunic that. for them, they're they're like Hulk, you know. They're, <laughs> they're just tearing out of it, or they're they That's can't amazing. lift or anything. Yeah, yeah. And then with hot guys, measure, everyone. hot measure. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> if they come here and they're going to be measured, they've got to you know. Okay, I want twenty five push ups. Do a couple laps. Yeah, yeah. You do, <laughs> and uh, so it's awful because then they're all sweaty. Yes. Um, girls, it doesn't really matter. Girls, we don't have that, uh, you know, swelling of the muscles sure. and, and, uh, and dolls. So uh, if you really want to help your costumer out, get good measurements because it, that's what it all boils down to. Um, one of the things that we suggest when you're having your measurements taken is, you know, if you have like a, one of the little elastic hip belts or mm -hmm. something like that. You oh, want the alignment belts? Right, alignment belts. You want to put I have a link in the alignment belt in the description there you so go. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so you'd want to, you know, just like tie um, elastic if they don't have that with them. That way you know where oh. the, you know, uh, where they're gonna, we're right where their waist is at. This is one of the measurements that everybody always gets wrong. So I just want to do that one real quick. Okay, so you can put your arms down. That's okay. Put your, put your <laughs> just yeah, like put step your, one. Don't do what you. Yeah. Do. <laughs> um, put your um, uh, head down, your chin down for a second, and you can see that there's a little bone right here that protrudes. Okay. Now I'm going to put my finger on that, and I'm going to have you look back up again. Okay. So I know this is where her back starts. Is right here, and I'm going to measure this right down to her waist and she's at 15 and a quarter inches which is pretty standard um and standard uh, lady. yes and so <laughs> i can i know that any pattern that i make for ati that it's going to be the right length it's going to hit her you know right in the in the correct spot here 15 and a quarter you said 15 and a quarter inches Good too no yeah <laughs> okay perfect Okay, Tammy, where are we? <laughs> we are sitting at our ruffling machine here, and we're going to ruffle some net. Yay. And this is the, just the regular diamond net. It comes in 54-inch wide pieces. Okay. And so as I roll the net out, I'm going to cut 15-inch lengths. I have six of them. Like I say, they are bundled here, and then I seamed them together, so they're all going to kind of run through there as one layer. So I love that unpin. we chose pink. Yeah, thank you. I didn't know which color, and I thought, well, that one, <laughs> that works. You can't go wrong with me. No. I'm nervous. Yes, because I'm going to push <laughs> you on the ruffling. Yes. Oh, and no. uh, it's sometimes the, oh. the noise and everything of it scares people. Oh. There's a guideline here. Okay, and then you see this blade is going to come right back and grab it. So okay. you don't want to get your fingers up here. Okay because you don't want it to, to grab at you there and then oh my gosh. suck it into the machine and then your finger will be ruffled. Oh, good. Okay, so I just, I run it through my guide here. Okay, run it through the guide. And underneath that blade, right up to the foot. There. Okay. So there's the first one. Um, what I like to do, I have it marked and so I can send four pieces through and I get a consistent length. I mean, okay. if I have six pieces, I can run that through it there, and I know that I'm going to get, you know, at least what that high hip measurement. And on some girls, it can be average, I'd say like 31 around their high hip. It hasn't been run for a little while. <laughs> yeah, probably. Ooh, that's ruffled. And that's all it does. You can see, just as a ruffle. Okay, your turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I don't want to be diagonal, right? right. Do I want to be this so that? This is straight? Yes, exactly. Okay, perfect. And then, okay, let's just see what happens. And sometimes it depends on that. Whoa! <laughs> okay. That's, so, that's scarier than driving a car, Tammy. I know. That's how I feel right now. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> how am I doing? And it Not out. Not terrible. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm sweating. Sweating in every video we do. <laughs> Here we go. That is really cool. Okay, want me and to finish it out? Horrifying. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. <laughs> just a quick pour. Just Antoine. a top layer, just to start. Oh, I love it. This is so cool. 
Yep, right, so I'm that's leaving. the only thing that machine does. <laughs> now we're going to move to the regular Yay! machine. Okay. okay, so we're on to machine number two. Yes, yes, this is our overlock machine. And what this machine is for is to finish an edge and you just kind of clean it up in a way. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little knife in here and then it, and it does a, a overcast on there that keeps the fabric from fraying away. Um, when you cut out your pattern pieces, we always cut the lining out exactly to the size that we want, and then we overcut the fashion fabric a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're gonna torture Adi again, <laughs> and we're gonna have her great finish the edge, just like how it is on this one. See, this see? is what I'm doing? Yes. Oh no, yes. I'm having flashbacks of my anxiety college costuming class. Yes, so here's the knife right here. Okay, and so you're just gonna you know, lift up the foot here and get this okay. right, right. I think about there. You don't wanna cut that fashion, or I mean the um, lining, you only wanna cut away that little bit of, uh, of the fashion fabric there. Is this what we're talking about? Is it gonna away from me? Does it go fast? Um, it depends <laughs> on anxiety. That's yeah. what this looks it like. It depends on how hard you push the pedal. So okay, it's we're just gonna like, start like in a car. Slow. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be easy breezy. Too slow. Everything sounds like a growl. Oh, oh! I went into the wrong. Okay, so fabric. just kind of, kind of go back that way a little bit. Okay, so now I see what it's, okay, I see what it's doing. Are my fingers where they're yeah. supposed to be? Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, just not under the foot. You don't, not, <laughs> I'm like no. under the knife, is this where they're, yeah. okay. Ooh, okay. Yay. And okay, now this, this is a special better. machine. <laughs> you can go ahead and step on the pedal and let it, you know, just kind of go ahead and step on the pedal. Keep going. More? Yep. There you go. Woo! So now you've got your edge. Hey, now, it's not the. It's not, not bad for the first great. time going through. <laughs> See, we cool. have our we have our stitch line here, our guideline yes. on there. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna follow you know that there. I'm yes. gonna be stitching right here. So it's okay. You have. We That's have awesome. Plenty. We always have one inch on the side seams mm -hmm. on bodices, mm -hmm. so that gives us a little extra playroom. All the other Very ones cool. are usually half inch. So you did it. <laughs> I want to okay. frame this. <laughs> Can you take it home? Yes. We're going to have you stitch up a center front. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> so that's going to go over in our straight stitch machine. So Let's slide on over. Let's on over. So here's our bust line here and here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm terrible at wanting to like match up notches and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pin it for you. Stick it I don't it. pin. And then this is our waistline. So we always know where our, everything sits because it's, you know, on bust and waist. And you are just going to hold it at the half inch. <laughs> Any direction, I'm just nervous. <laughs> Even if it's easy. So we are at a regular run-of-the-mill sewing machine. Mm -hmm. um, and this is going to be your start point right here. Okay. See where that little notch is there? Yes. Okay. That's my start point. So uh -huh. do I put this in here? Um, I have a knee lift on my machine. So that's how you lift the foot. And then is you that can where see, we go? Well, if I put the drop the needle down, is that where it's at? Um, no, it needs to go a little. Okay. okay. Right and there. then right on the half inch. Oh my goodness, you have to like have really good eyesight for this. Yeah. Okay. Is that good? Well, or glasses. <laughs> you tell me, is that good? I believe so. Yeah, it okay. went right on the okay. little guy. This is a pedal, the big pedal here. Pedal to the metal. So okay. that's the yeah, that'll start the machine. This is a, a cutter. So this is still gonna go this way. Yeah. And I'm trying to go on, I'm trying to go in a straight line this direction. Yeah, you're gonna hold it right at the half inch there. Okay. Okay, and yeah, that's it, just. We won't have your back tack or anything like that. She's just oh gonna my do God. a regular straight stitch. No back tack for this little lady. Yay. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm going crooked. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> is it okay? That's what these things are for. Okay. It's called a seam ripper. <laughs> <laughs> to fix my mistake. Yeah, if it needs it, yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, how far how far down am I trying we're gonna go to all go? All the way down. Okay, that's good to know. So where's where is this little half inch guy? How do you keep it straight? Is it with your finger? You know, you just kinda you get Or is it muscle memory? It, you just get used to it. It's just like everything else. Okay. You know? uh, oh my god. You do enough of them and you can do them in your sleep. It's like, it's being a straight line is the hardest. 
Yeah, you almost don't want to watch the needle. You want to watch where this is coming in back here. Okay, and I keep pushing it off of the guy. Don't look at the needle. Okay, Don't there you go. Going. And then hit this little pedal right here. And oh, that cuts it. And then you can just cute. Lift it. What a cute little noise! Wow. What am I looking at, Tammy? Is this? And good? then, well, <laughs> it is. It is. See, we're gonna. You'd then open that up, and we would press that, and that's your center front panel. I love it. That okay. was actually really fun. Oh, well, good. This good. is so cool. Okay, guys. So Tammy's gonna show us some of her finished products that I'm holding slash are behind me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these are some of the men's tunics. Um, once again, these are all made, uh, the patterns are from tutus that dance. And um, I do teach seminar classes and we do go over men's tunics and stuff. But this would be, uh, we call this the James. And um, you, you could, you know, there's just so many great ballets like the yeah. Swan Lake and things like that Absolutely. that have that real open style. Mm. Um, and then the one on your left hand is the, like for uh, Sugar Plum or um, the Prince, you know, for let's say Cinderella, yeah. things like that. Yeah, this one looks a little more embellished and fancy. Yeah, a little yeah. fancier. It's, it's uh, kind of a Baroque you know, style, mm -hmm, they'll mm -hmm, call absolutely. it. This one, uh, the sleeves are actually um, separate oh. from the the tunic. So this is kind of done almost as a vest. Okay. Um, guy stuff most always uh, buckles in the back. So, um, oh, this one too. you know, so you can, he can even just practice in this and, and then, then it's washable. <laughs> it's a really good thing for guys to have something that's washable because yeah. they get it very sweaty. They do. They do. And it gets covered <laughs> guys in Guys are makeup. getting a bad rap in this video. Yeah, the makeup and, and all, but anyway. So, awesome, it's beautiful. Uh, that, and then uh, this is just the basic tunic style from Tutus That Dance. And uh, we made this one on Tutu Education. Oh, so cool. I go through cutting it out, assembling it, and then embellishing it all on Tutu Education. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, get out of here. Let's get to the important ones. <laughs> Meanwhile, <Yeah. laughs> okay. Exactly. What are these tutus from their stunning? Okay, we. Sets. This is a stretch bodice tutu, and this has the stretchy, almost like a leot it is a leotard, uh, basically, and uh, but it doesn't go all the way down into the panty. This one actually is set on a basque. So if you were to open this up in the back here. You can see cool. that there's a basque, and that basque, you can see, helps pick up and support that skirt. So pretty. So this is for Pharaoh's daughter, for my daughter, um, and, um, and it's one of our, my rentals. But uh, it was kind of fun because we did different layers of Oh, cute! Color. Oh, all my favorite colors. Just, just a single wire hoop. hoop. Some of the hoops are double wire, so I split it. And there's that, and then... Um, it's a little ombre, so I was able to dye the top part darker, a little bit darker. Cool. And so it just ombres out. Wow. Ombre seems to be the big thing in it. You today. are very on trend. Kind of, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. How about uh, this guy? This is uh, was used for a Raimonda, and Raimonda. Uh, has a you know kind of has that uh, Hungarian kind of feel, which is what the we're colors, going for absolutely. there. The colors, absolutely. Yeah. This is the. Uh, Italian net, so you can feel how nice and stiff that is, and then how soft the diamond net is. Mm. It's a big difference. Those um, are so pretty. We have some that are used for sugar plum and another sugar plum. <laughs> all, the, all the sugar plums. Yeah, lots of oh piquita. My God, I love it. Uh, we have um, this one is actually it's Aww. a long line, and it has you can see it has shoulder straps. So you can set a sleeve, and so if you're, you know, wanting to have something made, make sure you talk to your customer about if you want a sleeve and how that's going to attach. This is so pretty, and this is um, the sugar plum you said. Uh, this one was for lilac fairy. Lilac, hello. It's yeah. Lilac. And then uh, what I did was I I dyed one. I used oh my gosh, it off this with is white net. So yeah. cool. And then I just dyed a section. You know, half of it in yellow and then half of it in the purple. Wow, this must look incredible and on the stage. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? I love it. These That's are so cool, Tammy. Thank you. I love the you. 3D. You're welcome. Thank you. No blood. No blood. No blood. <laughs> I learned a lot and, you know, I've been around 
ballet for a really long time. So you guys, if you enjoyed learning with Tammy just as much as I did, you can hop onto her website, which is tutueducation.com. We'll put it right here. Um, also the video or the link will be in the video description for you guys to go on. And Tammy, this is a subscription website, right? Where right, you teach. right. And we usually load two videos on there per month. Okay. Uh, we have over 30 videos right now. Beautiful. Uh, we're in um, over 15 countries. Have you know people have subscribed from over 15 countries That's so cool. to 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 education. So and it's kind of just like everything to to you'd want to know basically your teaching right. and all the construction and what goes into it. Right, right. And if you're really serious, we have a seminar. Um, usually it's out in Las Vegas. It's every year. I do plan on having more seminars, but that's through okay. Tutus That Dance. And uh, that's just where I get all my, my wonderful patterns and everything from them. And then I love teaching at the seminars too. I have 19 okay. ladies coming in July. Oh, yeah. all the tutu ladies. Yes, <laughs> all tutu ladies. All right, well you guys, I hope you enjoy that. That was probably one of the most fun videos I've ever filmed. So thank you so much, I loved it. Oh, I loved having you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We'll see you guys next week. I'm so happy right now, you don't even know. Uh -huh.